A way to remember insulin. There's different types. You have the rapid acting, short acting, intermediate acting, and long acting. Now there's a whole bunch of numbers that you have to try to remember. So an easy way to remember stuff is to either make a story about it, say something dumb about it, and of course repetition. We're going to try to do not the repetition part, but more of the dumb and kind of a story. So let's begin. For the rapid acting, it's going to be Lispro insulin, which is Humalog. There's also Novalog. Mike Lenars from SimpleNursing.com. He remembers it. The last part of it, Humalog, Novalog. Log is rolling down a hill, so the log is going to be fast. It's going to gain momentum as it's going down the hill. Anything that ends in log is going to be rapid, fast. There's also a Pedra, and he remembers it, Rapidra. So you just add that R to it, Rapidra. So those are for the rapid acting ones. You have to remember the onset, peak, and duration. So for the onset, let's look at the word Lispro insulin. Lispro, I think of it as less pro, less than 15 minutes for the onset. Now, if you get the capital L in Lispro and you turn it to an angle, now it becomes a, a half sign. So it's half an hour to one hour for the P. The duration, the P was our main letter in Lispro. So it's going to be PRO is three letters. Duration is three to four hours. Lispro is less pro, less than 15 minute onset. The peak, you're going to turn the L to an angle. It's going to make a half sign. So the peak is half an hour to an hour. Duration, let's look at the PRO as three letters. So duration is three to four hours. I told you it was going to be done. So here we go. The next one regular insulin is short acting. So regular insulin, this is Humulin R. There is also Novalin R, and these are short acting. So for short acting, now we're going to look at the letter L in regular. Little letter L. On this one, same thing, we're going to put it on its side. It's going to be half an hour to an hour for the onset. Now for the peak and duration, the way I remember this one, you're going to count regular. You know, one, two, three, but you're not going to count four, five, six, seven. And the reason we stop at seven is because regular has seven letters. Now remember the L, okay? It's in the fifth place. So for the peak, we're just going to count continue counting. So the onset was half an hour to an hour. So that's one. Peak two to three. Duration, we don't count four. We do five, six, and seven. So duration is five to seven. Remember the L from regular? That's our fifth letter. So five to seven. Total of seven letters in regular. So we'll do it again. Recap. Regular insulin, short acting, you're going to look at the letter L. You're going to put it to its side. It's a half. So the onset is half an hour to an hour. The peak, we're going to count from one, two, three. The peak is two to three. The duration, we don't count four, five to seven. So the next one, NPH. NPH insulin. This one is an intermediate acting. This is humulin N. NPH. The way I think of this one is N, not only one, but two, so the onset is one to two hours. The peak, P is for peak, so I just remember four to 12. So the peak is four to 12. Now the duration, this one you have to kind of use your imagination if you haven't already, but you have to use your imagination. For the H, if you connect them, it looks like an eight. So for the H is 18, and then if you look at the H again, it becomes a four. So 18 to 24 hours. And there's also insulin detamir, which is also lavamir. Now the last one is insulin garging, and this is lantis. Lantis is the long acting. The onset is one. First letter in insulin, it, it looks like a one. So onset is one. The peak, there is no peak. The duration is 10.4 to 24 hours. It's kind of a weird number but it has 10.4 to 24 hours. So you could either remember it 10 to 24 hours, but if it's on a test, it might have 10.4 as an option. So it's going to be that one. And of course, there's a whole bunch of different ways of learning. Repetition, storytelling, making dumb 
stuff up. Unfortunately, repetition doesn't work too well for me. So if it doesn't work for you, again, just, you know, make up something, something dumb. The more ridiculous the story or your rationale for it, the better it's going to stick. So I hope this helps.